Carl's Jr., the premium American burger chain, announced the opening of first restaurant in India, operated by Saibis Bright Star Restaurants, owned by Gurgaon-based Saibis Corp, through a master franchisee agreement with Carl's Jr. Restaurant, LLC. Carl's Jr. Restaurant will be located at the Select City Walk Mall complex in Saket, New Delhi. So, so we started our research about um, in 2013, around September 2013, and we said that we wanted to get a US-based chain in the country. Um, that's when we started traveling, sorry, speaking to different um, brands that are out there that have not entered the Indian market, and we came across Hardee's and Carl's Jr. The Carl's Jr. Is a brand that we're very familiar with since I've, um, you know, I've actually studied and lived in the U.S. for a couple of years. My mom is from Kuwait, and so in the Middle East, Hardee's is a very, very, very well-known brand. And that's when we, you know, we realized that Carl's Jr. Hardee's is not in India, and you know, why not try to get that to India? The reason why we actually chose Carl's Jr. for all the other 104 brands was because Carl's Jr. had an understanding of the Indian market. There are a lot of brands which said that they wanted to enter the Indian market because India and China were the two next biggest markets that they could potentially enter into. But no other brand besides Carl Jr. had actually done the homework about the Indian market. They knew what spicy meant to Indians. They knew which are the good real estate locations in India. They knew what Indians wanted and what, you know, that the, they knew that the, a new burger revolution was coming into India. So the kind of research that they've done on Indian out of and so you have to make sure that you have that compatibility you have that sync with the brand and the people at uh, in the global headquarters CK was so warm so compassionate they knew their food um, so you know that made us want to you know get on board with Carl's Jr. A lot of other brands who want to get into the market say that let's find the franchise and then we'll start the research but Carl's menu which they don't have in another country so they spend all their time on perfecting the vegetarian menu or you know on devising vegetarian menu on spicing up their non-vegetarian menu and then only said that let's now choose the franchisee because now we're ready to enter the market so all these reasons actually made us say Carl Jr. as a top brand um, and you know we're very fortunate to be able to work with them so like we have refillable drinks in Carl Jr. we have a, the beverage bar also has Ketchup and chili unlimited. Um, and you know, people, it's in the guest area, so guests can actually go up and actually go get the, uh, the, get the chili and the ketchup unlimited times, as many times, how much quantity they want. Besides that, we're also selling a range of chicken tenders, wings, as well as legs, and we're serving all of them with our signature Santa Fe sauces, which we've got specially from the US. It's our USP signature dish, um, and, uh, you know, sauce, and we decided to serve it with all our. because I think it's a great combination. But in addition to that, all our burgers are unique sauces. Particularly, I think the one sauce I want to mention is a mango jalapeno sauce, which is a perfect blend of little spicy, but little sweet. Um, and you know, we have of course, the mint sauce, tandoori sauces, so we have a lot of sauces. And the good thing is that a guest can actually ask for additional sauce in the burger, but can also ask for extra sauce on the side as well. Are red and yellow. What we, we, you know, every market, every market in Carl's Jr. likes to tweak it a little bit to the preferences of the audience. So what we did over here was we retained it to be red, which is our color, but we also made it very earthy. And so if you see the decor, it's very wood, um, you know, woody. It's very earthy. It's mud, groundy. Um, you know, that's what we use. But we also tried to make it comfortable, plush seating, lounge kind of seating. So we have a little bit of sofas. So like we're focusing on not being a QSR, we're trying to be a QSR plus, a casual dining. So we've ensured that the ambience is very vibrant, yet it's
it's not, uh, you know, it's not a bar. It's not something only for kids, but it's something that families can enjoy, friends can enjoy, groups of people can enjoy. And we try to make it a little bit touch of the Californian nature. So if we look around the restaurant, we have a lot of surfboards, sea sands, uh, you know, pictures. We try to make the imagery very Californian themed. You know, very upmarket, trendy, edgy kind of decor in the restaurant. which is the age group we're focusing on. Now we don't say this is a physical age, it's supposed to be a mental age. So uh, there could be a 40 or 50 year old man who mentally thinks he is 18 to 34 and we're looking at that guy or that girl to actually come into the restaurant. So keeping that motto in mind, keeping that goal in mind, we decided that you know we need to capture the social media really well. So you know a lot of brands are coming in, we wanted to make a mark uh, go a little different so we've done a couple of things what we've done is we're doing of course focusing very strongly on um, social media so we're on every social platform possible we're reaching out there to influencers of society so we've done a lot of research with a lot of uh, vendors that we have who helped us actually narrow down people who like burgers people who've been to Carl Jr. abroad but now live in Delhi and we've actually gone to those people and got them into the restaurant. We're doing a lot of print ads, a lot of outdoor advertisements, we're doing a lot of um, you know a lot of games in the restaurant to encourage people to actually come in and have a great experience. But overall we're trying to cover everything. Uh, we've also done uh, we launched on this dating website as well known as Tinder. And uh, you know so that's a dating profile usually for you know young girls and guys out there. What we've done is we've made two profiles over there. The way the app works is that if you ma if you if you swipe right, you actually make a match with the burger. So you actually made the bur two burgers um, out there's profiles so that the young girls and guys can actually go and flirt with the burger and try to get a match and some lucky winners will get the opportunity to come to the restaurant. So we're trying to do really unique things with our marketing strategy so it's unique but it captures our target audience so it has to be between 18 